another one. And the first question comes from Mitch. Mitch says, what are your thoughts on low code technology? So let's start our timer. My first thought on low code technology is it's going to be expensive and they will be like, thank you for your patronage. And why do I think that low code technology is expensive? Because you are paying for someone else to actually write the code. And then you're just so, so now you don't have that much code to write. So because they're doing all of the work on the back end, then, cause I've, I've used some, I mean, not, I haven't like used it, but I have, um, did some trials and samples and I was, I was always like drawn back to writing my own code because the first part is you, you're going to have to get some type of subscription to it. And then you're going to have to like plug in things here and there. And what happens when you do that is you, then you become very limited into the customization. And if it is a like, and there, there's two business models around low code technology, right? There's a business model of, there's a business model of, they can like really customize it to your needs, but then that takes a lot of maintenance on that company's end. So they're, then they're also going to charge you for that. And then there's the one, there's the, there's the business model where it's one code base. And if they're, if the feature you're asking for is important enough, then they'll add that feature to it. I like, for me, I like, I would rather, I would rather develop the solution on my own and then have my own thing because guess what? What if not? Because you also become a, a hostage to that company. And when you become that hostage to that company, you cannot, you cannot go away from them because I mean, you can, but then you're going to have to like migrate all of your stuff over to another place. And now when you're going to that other place, maybe they can try to migrate for you, but it's, it's going to be a mess. And that's why I am never really in favor of, of being that tightly coupled. It's just like software development, right? You don't want to tightly couple your 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 code and your like your integration stuff like that. You want it to be you want it to be modular. You want to be able to plug and play here and there, and um and, and that's why I say it's going to be expensive because you're paying that you're paying that fee, and it's going to be like you're going to have to sign a contract and all that type of stuff. Where what's the what what are you getting out of that low code technology? I guess is is my is what I'm looking for because I'm like, can I do the thing that I'm getting out, out of the low code? Can I teach? Can I build build a team where I can teach them? Um, and that's why I me, mean, I, I was I've never really been a fan of those type of tools. I'll tell you this: when I was at the the website translation company, they tried. Well, when I say they, this one, this one guy, right? This one guy. We ended up having beef. We ended up having beef at the end, right? But guess who won? Guess who won? Anyways, but the thing is, they tried to turn the the automation work that my team was doing into this this tool this this ui interface of for low code technology where pretty much anybody could do automation and, and then they wanted me to like join and work on that i'm like well why don't we just teach the team how to do regular automation and we make it easy for them to learn it and stuff like that like no 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 we have to use this guy's thing we have to use this guy's thing and i was there you know what i'm out i'm out because it it wasn't it, it was like it, there were so many restrictions and now we have to like, so all the stuff that we're able to do, we'd have to go backwards. And now, and then it's like, oh, but, we, but you know, for your, for some custom things, we'll still need you to do this. I'm like, well, it's not that hard in the first place. Like, you know, we can, like, we can train these people. It's like, no, 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 no. Um, all this stuff. Right. So I was like, all right, cool. I got you. But with the low code technology, you become, you become, um, you become a, a hostage to the software that's being built. So that's why I've never really been um, like, crazy about it. I know some people will like it and stuff like that. But to me, the customization, the the critical thinking, the innovation that you can do when you're building your when you're writing your own code, that is the part that I find the most important because like so many th there's so many different situations that you have to you have to account for whether you're trying to do loops, whether you're trying to do some particular type of if statements, whether you're trying to connect to APIs, so many different things that like I said, me personally, I am not a fan of low code technology uh, or or low code um, local, yeah, local technology. So whether whether it's like for software development, whether it's for whether it's for um, whether it's for like QA, whatever the case may be, uh, I am always in favor of uh, learning the code and writing it myself. Now there are some open source things where they can get you part of the way there, but uh, like I mean, for example, I mean, let's say, let's take Flutter, right? Flutter is to me, it's it's like a in the middle, it's like middle code technology if that exists. 
because I can I can use one code base and it's going to generate the it's going to generate like the code for for um for Android and the code for for Apple, but it's open source and it's st it's st you're still writing um, Dart code, which is like looks very just like Java. So um, I'm st I, I don't I don't think I've done low code. I just think they they optimize it. So I don't know. But they, like, I'm, I am not a big fan of it. I am not a big fan of it. And let's say what your car said. Your car said, as a standalone, I'm scared of that because I penetrate networks all the time, and it just makes it easy for me to make a digital ghost and get in. Hmm. You see? Look at that. Look at that. See, and I have to add, I have to add your car only does this ethically, right? Ethically. Just putting a disclaimer out there. You know, he, he sometimes he forgets to include the ethically, but it's always he always penetrates networks ethically. All right. So shout out to your car and shout out to Mitch for the amazing question. Let me see if there's any follow-ups on this one before we move on. Let's see. So your car said about the about the low code technology says as a time saver it's the best as an ethical oh see he added the ethical it is the worst they have bots scrubbing the internet for codes and finding vulnerabilities in them I had I had a friend he uh, he wrote a he wrote this AI bot I think it was where it would go and it would it would scan through GitHub repos and leave leave um, code reviews uh, on <laughs> GitHub repos pretty funny. And so Mitch says, so you don't think companies will pay for the subscription? Majority of them, they will, they will. But um, I mean, a lot of companies pay for the um, subscription. I'm not a fan of it. They will because they, they because of what they believe they're going to get out of it. But my problem is when you get when you get trapped into it for a very very long time, and it's so hard to it's so hard to switch from there. So uh, and Mitch says, with all this AI slash automation, you know. So I don't know. That that's that's what I see. That's what I see. Uh, and that's the point nobody thinks. Uh, and let's see, anything else? Let me see what else. It says, maybe at first, but it's almost like white labeling. You can get a product out there, but you are not unique and you will kill your margins compared to creating the code yourself. That is a fact as well. That is a fact. Agree. And... No, oh, okay, so that's it. So that, that is a great question. Let me wrap that question up. If you enjoyed the fascinating information shared in this video and you want more, be sure to hit the subscribe button to Tech Coach Ralph to be notified for new videos.